Now the reason that tinea pedis is called athlete's foot is because it's a fungus that occurs between the toes of people who perspire heavily. So I guess athletes get it often because they sweat so often and hence the name. Anyways, moving on, like I said, it's the most common type of tinea and this partly has to do with how easily it's transmitted through things like public bathroom facilities and swimming pools. Now another thing that separates tinea pedis from other forms of ringworm is that in athlete's foot there is more maceration, which is just a fancy way of saying there is more wasting away or loss of skin. Also commonly seen are fissures and vesicles around and below the toes and the affected area will also at times be discolored. Wait, don't go just yet. If you like this video and would like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website to access more great, easy to follow videos. Don't worry, Nursing Study Buddy will be posting free videos for our YouTube subscribers and a wide variety of snippets from our video library at nursingstudybuddy.com. Nursing Study Buddy was designed for those nursing students and current nursing students who are struggling with their educational experience. So if you're a pro, whiz, Einstein, or even Stephen Hawking's nephew and have no trouble studying and acing your tests and quizzes, nursingstudybuddy.com is not for you. With new videos being added every week, what are you waiting for? Visit nursingstudybuddy.com and sign up for a one day free trial and put some free time back in your life by cutting down your study time while improving your test scores. We'll see you there.